Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you've been following up on the Shard 3D printed airplane videos that I've been releasing, you would know that I've printed this before and it didn't go well. And the reason is I made two mistakes. So I want to take you through those two mistakes that I've done in the past and what I did now to overcome them. Obviously, I have not maiden this aircraft yet. Hopefully the maiden is tomorrow and it would go better than the first time. So let's go ahead and start. The first issue with this airplane is the motor mount right here. And if you, when you purchase this airplane and you download the manual, the designer would state that you need to print the motor mount out of PLA or tough PLA, which is a big error. You should never ever print the motor mount out of uh, PLA or even tough PLA because it's gonna be, if, you, if you're flying out in the sun, this is gonna heat up and PLA softens very quickly in the sun. And this is exactly what happened for the first version that I've printed. And the motor, when I was flying the airplane, the motor just rip, was ripped out of the nose of the airplane because the motor mount softened. So big mistake, you know, I would recommend that the designer would change the manual and, you know, specify that the motor mount should always be printed out of PEG, not uh, PLA. PEG is the best material for this. It's not going to soften in the sun. It's going gonna, it's gonna to stay strong and rigid and will make a much, much better uh, motor mount than PLA. Uh, the second uh, issue that I did last time was I printed the fuse, the wings, uh, the tail, and the horizontal stabilizer out of dark, low weight PLA, which was a mistake. And what I've noticed is immediately when I put the airplane in the sun, this uh, canopy basically started to melt because it was printed out of dark or black low weight PLA. Same thing happened uh, for, for the horizontal stabilizer because it's small, it doesn't have a lot of infill. So this stabilizer over here started basically melting and uh, go uh, uh, bending towards the ground. Uh, what I've done this time is, as you see, I've printed everything out of, you know, very light or white color, low weight PLA. So those are the two things I didn't do well last time, and I tried to overcome them this time. So again, print the motor mount out of PEGI, print the body and everything else, or basically the body, the wings and the tail and the horizontal stabilizer, print them out of light uh, or light color, low weight PLA. And, you know, that should prevent the airplane from melting in the sun. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that you go out to the field, you put it in the sun and leave it there. You know, take it out, fly it, and then, you know, put it back in the shade to make sure that it doesn't melt, especially in, in, uh, in, in hot or under hot weather conditions. So, you know, the construction is done. Uh, the maiden is hopefully tomorrow. So uh, I hope it's going to go better than, than the first time. And I'll report back when I've, when I've done the Maiden. I'll also film the Maiden. I'll post it on my channel. And uh, hopefully it's going to go better than the first time. Uh, let me show you actually a little bit the internals of the airplane. So as you can see, this is the motor mount here. And then you have fins here on the right and the left hand side. Those fins basically, uh, the purpose behind them is to cool the engine. So as air is flowing inside, it's directed towards the motor or the engine and it cools it down. And then looking inside, you have the battery mount. This is basically the support here for the landing gear. It's supported by this piece over here and then this piece over here and then uh, carbon fiber spars go through both of pieces both of those two pieces and then they they connect to the landing gear going further to the back you have this edgy this piece printed out of pedgy and those two pieces here that are printed out of tpu and then you pull them and you lock them into this uh, piece here. And this basically locks the wings to the fuselage. 
and then you have the supports for the servos for the elevator and the rudder uh, again i printed them out of pedgy and then also you have 3d prints for the servo arms here this is the x structure here is just to support the fuse and then looking at the wing i'm gonna basically tilt the wing a little bit up for you to see the wing from the bottom and as you can see this is where the servo fits and then this is the servo arm and then you'll see how it hinges to the wing so again maiden is hopefully tomorrow and i'm gonna basically post the maiden flight on my channel and hopefully everything goes well thank you for watching if you've liked this video please click on like and subscribe uh have a lovely evening everybody